Hey, fingers. Ugh. I'm getting so much on the floor. <laughs> This is what home making is. It's not super blended, but we will all survive, I promise you. Okay. Alright, hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I run a vlog called Mrs. Midwest. This is my dog. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> and today we are going to be doing a vlog. First, we're going to start with uh, making my husband some breakfast. You want to hang out with everybody? Do you? Yes. Oh, you want to say hello, family? So we're making eggs and I quickly wanted to show you that the butter I'm using to fry the eggs in we made in the last vlog. I've kept it in the fridge. Yeah, we're going to be using homemade butter. While the potatoes get going, I wanted to show you my Bible. Um, I've gotten some questions about a Bible I would recommend, and this is my study Bible. It's an NIV study Bible, and I love it because it has Jesus' words in red, and you have some footnotes on every single section of this Bible. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. The footnotes are basically a devotion unto themselves. It's incredible. So I would highly recommend um, an NIV study Bible for anyone starting out. Love it. yes I do go all out for breakfast I get a little extra because we don't get to have many dinners together that's just the night shift life so our breakfast has kind of turned into a little more of a fancy occasion a time for us to hang out and that's just the night shift life I don't know if any of my ladies out there can resonate with it but you got to do what you got to do Today, we are doing the much requested, long awaited makeup tutorial. I have been getting this question since the first few videos I put out back in February, and it was really surprising to me because I am by no stretch of the imagination a makeup guru. <laughs> so, let's dive in to the makeup for freckles on a budget. <laughs> so the goal for my makeup for freckles isn't to cover up all the freckles. So we're only gonna be covering the freckles in some areas to kind of contour my face a little bit more. So I use the L'Oreal Paris True Match Foundation. Yes, I put it on my finger. So with your foundation, if you have freckles, I like to put it on the bottom area of my face and I like to do my eyes. You can see your girl even has freckles on her eyes and it's not about hiding my freckles because I don't like my skin it's about removing some of the visual busyness on my face hey fingers Ugh. I'm getting so much on the floor <laughs> okay so we're gonna do this just a little bit thicker and then back down here so yeah let's do this now I'm going to be smoothing it out with this powder which I got a about a week ago and I really like it and I'm gonna go like this and I'm going to set this foundation this is really good if you have a shiny face like yours truly okay so the reason I put foundation around here and not just on the pink pinkish reddish problems on my face is because 
in the summer these freckles get really dark and it can kind of like weigh down my face so if you have a lot of freckles that are beneath that se this section of your face consider concealing them a little bit more in the summer it will make your face lift up just a little bit more Okay, now we're gonna go in with this Amazon palette. This palette is really great nudes for anyone who doesn't like crazy colors. I like to use this dark brown to continue filling in my brows just a little bit more if I want a more bold brow look. Okay, I need to focus. <laughs> okay, that works. Now. You can see, if you have a bold brow, you kinda need some mascara, cause otherwise it's just brow city. <laughs> and the thing I've heard about this is, some people have high contrast faces, and other people have low contrast faces. So I have a low contrast face, which is why I like dyeing my brows and wearing mascara, because I have this light eyes, light hair, light skin, light mouth, etc. So a way to add kind of definition to your face, and a way to draw more attention to your face, is by adding some contrast. I don't always do eyeshadow on my eyes, but for the sake of this video, I will. So I like this champagne color mixed with this color called Comfort, which how cute is that? This is the wrong brush for this activity, so don't follow this as your one and only makeup tutorial in your whole life. But I like to add some color to the lids. Yes, this is looking so nice. Maybe it's not, but from my perspective, it is. <laughs> so we're gonna go with this rust color next and maybe some plum. Um, and we're gonna add in a bit of a crease. Why do we add creases, Caitlin? Well, we add creases to add some depth to our eyes and make it look wide. So now we're gonna blend a little bit more. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I always think of like uh, Disney princess, you know, big eyes. Um, this is what my mom taught me. She always taught me, put a medium color, medium color on your lid, darker color in the crease, lighter color up top. You can't lose. It's not super blended, but we will all survive, I promise you. Okay, so now we're gonna take that plum color and mix it with a bit darker color. And we're gonna go just a little bit of a wing. We're gonna do a little bit of that plum color underneath for a bit of a smoky look. If you watched my 20K Q&A, you know that our friend, Little Miss Liquid Eyeliner Elf, is the go-to for me. I love this eyeliner because it washes off amazingly at night. And honestly, we don't need to be scraping at our eyelids, stretching them out, prematurely aging that skin. No, 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 no. It's delicate tissue. So yes, this will not last on a beach day, that is sad. But will it last good enough throughout the day and then come off nicely? Yes. This is hard on a phone. I am realizing that. You can see that we did it from about the middle to the end and we just thickened the end. No need for a crazy cat eye because I'm not that talented. And now we're gonna add a few thick coats of mascara. So you can see we've added some more contrast to my little fair face. <laughs> And we've made my eyes the center of attention. Which, who doesn't want their eyes to be the center of attention, right? All right, yes, yes, yes. So you can see too, I don't like putting eyeliner on the bottom of my lashes, but I will kind of like dig this in at the roots so that it will become like its own little eyeliner. And I like doing this because I like playing up that round eye look. I know it's very popular to do no eye makeup almost on the bottom and then have like really heavy top lashes, but I have round eyes and I kind of just like embracing that with my makeup and playing up the roundness a little bit more. One of the best ways to show natural health is to have a good flush on your cheeks. This is a wet and wild blush makeup stick. It's fabulous and you just kind of go on the apples of your cheeks and I like to do a little more blush than normal. Get yourself a little bit rosy looking. Very sweet and innocent looking. Nice. And then again, in the 20K Q&A, we talked about the Milani lip liners. We are gonna slightly overline the lip. I have some freckles blending into my lips, kind of like 
making the edges look a little blurry. So I like a lip liner because it just smooths everything out and makes it look a lot more put together. I do feel like the things that set it apart are the brows and the lip liner, a little bit of eyeliner. That's makeup for freckles. This is a get ready with me, so we are going to pick out an outfit and then get going on some more homemaking things. So the thing I wanted to show you about this shirt is that it is actually backwards. That V is supposed to be in the front, but I like to wear um, these kind of shirts backwards once in a while because it really just gives you more coverage up front and it gives you a few different ways to wear. just looked at the YouTube channel and as of today we have passed 50,000 subscribers I am floored like where are you all coming from that's my biggest question all the time I'm like where are you people from because when I began my blogging journey last November I thought I was alone like I felt like one of the only young homemakers left on the planet you know like part of an endangered species and now I can just see that there is so much love and support and and kindness amongst our new sisterhood for homemakers for feminine women and the biggest thing I want you all to know today is that you have greatly blessed me and, and helped me grow and and feel like I'm not alone when I began this journey, I did kind of feel like, well, even if I'm the only one who thinks this stuff, somebody has to say it. <laughs> somebody has to talk about being feminine. Somebody has to talk about homemakers. Somebody has to defend the traditional life. And now I'm seeing that I'm not the only one. I'm just a drop in the bucket of all the people who support feminine women. We are not alone. We are not crazy and we are not wrong for going against the culture. Regardless of numbers, even if it was just me and just you, these ideas are important. So I would not be able to make these videos without the Lord. I would not be able to have any advice to give you about femininity, traditional living, emotions or whatever without Christ who continually transforms me every day. Also, I want you guys to see, we have Harley keeping us company. So all of that excitement aside, I want to show you what we've been getting up to in the house. We have some big changes and I'm excited to share them with you. Hello. Hello, baby. I love you. Okay, we gotta show everybody the house though. This vlog is gonna be half an hour if we don't stop. Yeah. We have a three bedroom style ranch house and we have, we don't have children yet. <laughs> so we use the two extra bedrooms. We did use one as an office and one as a guest bedroom. So this is our first guest bedroom. It's not a big bedroom. I think it's just like eight by 10 feet in here and then the guest bed and this is our old bed because big news today's video is sponsored by Lull. I have partnered up with Lull. Hi! <laughs> I have partnered up with Lull and they have sent me a beautiful Lull mattress. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Hi! So they sent me a wonderful mattress that I can't wait to show you guys and we did oh my gosh and my husband and I did unbox it yesterday so I'm gonna give you a sneak peek and then I'm gonna show you the unboxing process mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so remember how we had that full mattress? That mattress was my husband's from college. So when Lull reached out to collaborate, I was so excited because not only did we desperately need a new mattress, but their mattresses are amazing. We unboxed it yesterday, so I'm going to show you those clips right now, and then we're gonna talk about it a little bit. So you can clearly see that I am very excited. The setup process was so easy. Honestly, it was kind of a one-man job. Like, I didn't have much to do. <laughs> My husband was able to just push forward, get the saran wrap off, and Lull did the rest. You remove the saran wrap and then it just expanded into what you see now. It is one day since we unboxed and this is the result. We slept on it last night and honestly, it was amazing. It was such a good sleep, but it was also the perfect amount of firmness and softness. Anyone who lives in the country like us knows that it can be a chore to buy furniture. How are you gonna get it home? It was wonderful to come home from our vacation see our lull mattress on the porch and be able to open it up, get it going right away. They do free shipping and they do have a 100 day trial. So you can try out your lull, see if it's for you. Honestly, I think it's for us. <laughs> and if you don't like it, you can send it back with free returns. They are also giving you $150 off with my discount code in the description box below. I want you guys to kind of see too that there is like this honeycomb kind of um, covering that is so nice and that it is pretty firm. Like this is taking a lot of strength to push down on it and it just springs back. Like how did this come in a box? Honestly, it's, it's kind of shocking when you think about it that something this enormous can come from a box and it's not an air mattress and it's so comfy. So yes, thank you Lull for sponsoring this video, but now it's time for some homemaking. We have to make this bed and then I want to do a little bit of a sewing project with you all. how to style the lull but we're just gonna go with whatever that is if any of you have king bed styling tips drop them below let's get going on the next task Okay, so our next task is getting this little one. Hi. We're gonna make her a new bed too. We're gonna make a dog bed. Now, as I spoke about before, we didn't have a guest 
bed we just had that single mattress so we would put guests on this i used to put a sheet on here and this was a guest bed for the floor but now that we have our full bed in the guest bedroom it's time to use this foam for the puppy and make a puppy bed so i have this old blanket that is really actually quite soft and nice and so we are going to stuff this blanket with the dog bed and I'm just gonna sew it and we're just gonna see how it goes. Basically today I just want you to see that you can get creative with sewing, you can get creative with homemaking and use what you got instead of buying new. Dog beds for large German Shepherds are anywhere from $75 to $120. So today we are going to be trying to save some money and use this random stuff in my basement. How big should we cut it for you? How big? For the puppy and we are just going to be rounding out this vlog by cleaning Harley she needs a shower so badly <laughs> from the sink and pouring it on her in the shower no, no, in the shower because she's so scared of
thank you to everybody who wrote to me in the comments on my last vlog letting me know that you're all here supporting me regardless of whether or not I'm perfect at this job of being a YouTuber and I just really appreciate that. I It's kind of shocking to me that so many people are interested in my life and what I do and even the fact that people watch these vlogs, it just blows my mind sometimes because for so long I just kind of felt like being a homemaker was just like a boring little job that no one cared about and now I can see that people do care about homemakers and people are still interested in becoming them and it just makes me really excited too to feel so supported by all of you and without you and the Lord's strength I wouldn't be able to do this so I'm just giving you so much love today and Thank you for spending so much time with me. It's it's truly incredible. So yeah, that's my little word of thanks. But I am going to be wrapping up today's video. So if you haven't yet, please click the like button. It does help continue to grow our family. If you want to, please subscribe to the channel and join the feminine family. I hope you have a wonderfully blessed and feminine week, my sisters.